In Missouri's state capital, they woke up to take stock of the storm's brute strength. Buildings shattered and shredded. Debris spread like matchsticks. Homes torn open from above. The massive tornado that hit last night cut a path about five kilometers long and almost two kilometers wide. It hit just before midnight, the accompanying lightning giving residents a brief glimpse of the destructive force that was about to lay waste to their town. Within 30 seconds of me waking up, getting downstairs, I heard the strongest ones I've ever heard in my life. And objects, sticks, wind, anything hitting the house, the windows, in the room we were hiding in downstairs. After it was over, Casey Bull went to check on family members and realized what he had survived. Went upstairs because it sounded like a train had hit the house, make sure Grandpa was okay since he's still upstairs. Went upstairs, checked on Grandpa, looked in the back spare bedroom, the corner of the house was gone. That was one of nearly two dozen tornadoes to hit the region Wednesday. The deadliest hit the town of Golden, killing three people. One estimate suggests that tornado had an 80 kilometer long path and was on the ground for an hour and 20 minutes. Satellite imagery shows the power of the storms across Missouri, part of a system that for several days has pounded the Midwest with torrential rains and twisters. The flooding from those storms swept two unmanned barges along the Arkansas River, sending them crashing into this dam in Oklahoma, which luckily wasn't damaged. Residents in Missouri, though, had more than their share of damage and plenty to clean up. Fortunately, no one in Jefferson was killed. We're very, very thankful that it happened at night when most people were likely, you know, at home and they heard the uh, outdoor warning sirens. But while the tornadoes have passed, the danger isn't over. There are still flood warnings and a river that could top a levee as early as tomorrow. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York. Wow, Canadians got the lowdown today on the upcoming hurricane season. Forecasters here and in the United States say it should be a, quote, normal year with as many as 15 named storms. That still means there's a lot of activity. Four to eight will become hurricanes with top winds of at least 74 miles an hour and two to four major hurricanes reaching category three, four or five. And they warn it's not always wind that causes the most damage. The real danger comes from the storm surge and then the flooding. That was the case last year with two major hurricanes, Michael and Florence. Together, they killed dozens of people in the U.S. and caused billions of dollars in damages.